See, Laser Them is a 21-year-old rapper. He's been making music since 2018, and the thing is, he records all his songs on BandLab and uses his iPhone and his Apple earbuds as a mic. Now, if you're watching this, you probably didn't heard Laser Them's most popular song called Asia Rock, but you were probably very skeptical because you don't understand what Laser was going for. Anything that you didn't heard from Laser, the songs probably weren't mixed, but they were catchy, right? Why do you keep seeing him on your timeline? Does he actually take music serious? What if I told you he does it? Because at a point in his life, he did, but no one cared. No one took tuned in but in this video i explain why and really who is laser them and what truly is his backstory because everybody want to talk about how he's so lit now but nobody wants to talk about the real history with laser you watch a d-u-t-i-e go ahead and subscribe let's get started as a kid laser them was moving around a lot at this point he was on the south side of atlanta east West, etc. He really grew up in just all of Atlanta. He really explained that he just didn't grow up on one side of Atlanta. He was really everywhere, man, you know? And while growing up, making music was his favorite thing to do. It didn't seem like a job or something that he wanted to make money off. He just wanted to rap. He didn't care for the numbers. He would watch Lil Wayne all the time because all he wanted to do was just be like him. But what truly got him started is that he seen his mom boyfriend making a song one day and Laser thought in his head, I'm gonna do the same thing. He explained during this time, he was like second grade and his mom boyfriend had the studio set up and everything already in the basement so he would go down there trying out stuff probably and that's how he really just got started and throughout the years laser ended up making his name as we know today by making a facebook account with his brother and when he first made it it was just supposed to be laser them because it was two people that owned the account so they were gonna go with that but his brother told him nah change the word them to them and that's why we have laser them but in 2018 that's when you started seeing that laser them was pushing this rap agenda because during this time trillers audio mag and soundcloud were the three big biggest things when it comes to underground and you can see that laser took advantage of this because you can find old videos of him rapping making songs that would sound a lot similar to this rapper named splurge because in 2018 splurge was huge he was the only rapper during that time making songs with no melodies at all so yeah his videos out there of laser as a youngin doing trillers in the studio and making songs off his phone sometimes he'll upload like small eps and mixtapes on audio mac but you can't find that stuff now but you know things didn't really become official for laser until 2021 because that's that's when he started uploading his songs onto real platforms like Spotify, SoundCloud, and Apple Music. He would drop singles here and there, but he didn't bother dropping albums or EPs or anything like that. Boom, 2022 came around, that's where things picked up. He released this album called The World Is Yours, and people messed with it, but he didn't have any visuals. No promo, no nothing really behind him. He was just rapping, you know, because that's all he wanted to do. And that's what started to mess up Laser Mental as he was making music in 2022 and early 2023 because he would upload these songs, but it wasn't as much attraction that he wanted he said it himself that he was taking music so serious during this time but nobody really wanted to tune in he was uploading trailers he even dropped about two or three tapes in 2023 but nothing was there nobody really took him serious nobody really cared that's what he explained yeah some people listening to him but he wanted more but in 2023 that's when laser changed the whole path for his career because he took his own money and said you know what i'm gonna go get some visuals done that's when you see his first music video come out because it's facts bro music videos can be the boost for your career but anybody you can't just upload music and that be it nah we want to see personality and in 2024 laser whole life changed because bro had cut off his dress and he started uploading daily when it came to trillers you will randomly see them on twitter ig the underground for twitter was hot during this time like really really hot if the right person was supposed to find you on twitter and you had a catchy or a meme song you were going to get that spark that you needed you know what i'm saying to boost your career that's what nespin had but laser them himself didn't even know that he was going to be the next one because he uploaded the trailer and people caught on real fast because nobody understood the music the mixing was so rough but he had a catchy flow and he was rapping on these dark plug type beats and people caught on and it became to a point where it wasn't even promo people were just retweeting and trying to like either make fun of it or saying that this sounded different and nobody really called the music trash they really just thought it was funny because we haven't even heard anything like this so the fans and him posting himself on twitter was really what blew up laser and at this point he only had a little bit of buzz at first but in late january you seen that laser was with BK the Ruler, Tana, and Duop King, and Laser took advantage of this. He was dropping music videos back to back, and he caught the eyes of Black Boy Max because Max himself seen a lot of potential in Laser and decided to put him in a song wars that I was a part of, and there was tons of rappers in there. And during these song wars, you know, every man is for themselves. It's really just seeing who can make the best song. But the twist is, they have to spin the wheel, and whatever tight beat you get, you have to choose that beat and use it and try your best to make a good song out of it. And Laser was the rapper to stand out the most because he 
was not only funny, he had a lot of personality, but his songs were so catchy and so different than any other song that was played that the whole five star community loved him, man. And it's crazy because he made his best songs on this stream. When a Finito remix came out and Asian Rock came out, people just kept playing those songs over and over again. And to this day, those are his biggest songs right now. And like I said, it was tons of rappers in this event. So this whole thing was trending on TikTok. Laser was the one to trend the most, but, but everybody knew about this event. Even people found out about me because I was a part of it too. So if somebody was to ask you, yo, how did Laser blow up? Most people are going to say it was because of Max, because he's a genuine guy that added him during the Song Wars and that really just helped his career. Laser just got more consistent, bro. He was dropping almost every week. Music videos back to back. And right after that, Max got him on a stream again to do a 20v1. And this only created more exposure for Laser than when it came to personality. Cause people just started to love Laser for him being himself. Because you know, he's from the hood, man. You know, everything he's saying in the songs is true. And people just love his music because they can relate with it. Crazy to say, but this boosted his whole career, man. For him just being him. Like one of his lyrics that's really trending on TikTok is that trap so old, gotta run out the house so the roof don't fall up on me. And if you look at the TikTok, the roof is really bent in, bro. He's not troll. Another catchy lyric, he said, I don't got a bed, I got an air bed. And while on live saying this lyric, he said, hold on, y'all. Let me actually put some air inside my air bed. I don't got no bed, I got an air bed. Here this top trying to leave his hair red. I don't got no bed, I got an air bed. Here this top trying to leave his hair red. I gotta pump my bed up, matter of fact. There's little things like that that just keeps him relevant and people love that about him. He just being him. And this year has just been going up for him, man. He's getting those co-signs. He's getting those interviews. He's getting that engagement. And a smart thing that Laser did for himself was drop his album called Enjoy recently and start performing. He was just with Osama Sun, Netspin, and Molly Santana performing and stuff like that. He just doing what he gotta do. And even though Kai and Lil Yachty didn't like his song the most, they still reacted to it and he still got exposure off of this. And he's currently on tour right now performing with two solid dirt ball and just making a bigger name for himself. And what stood out the most about Laser Them is that he said himself that he used to take his old music a lot more serious. But with the new music that he makes, he doesn't take it serious and people mess with that more. Because whole time he was trying so hard, but he didn't even know himself that all he needed to do was showcase his personality and make some visuals. That's it. Because the reason why Laser is standing out more than anybody in underground right now is because he's not the mysterious type. And he is the most relatable underground rapper out right now. He doesn't have to put on on all black and dye his hair and all you know what i'm saying he just doesn't have to do none of that he just really himself he's from the hood man this is what we needed we needed someone that we can relate to without without them having some aesthetic or being mysterious and not talking to their fans laser goes live every day on his ig account just to talk to his fans literally he got a whole lingo for himself and his fans they say it all the time little twins like you know how long it's been since we've seen something like this because the music is already there for laser we know he's good we know he can switch up the flow but we haven't even seen laser full potential yet so this is just special and that's why laser has the hype he has right now but y'all let me know how y'all feel about laser it's d-u-t-i-e i'm not sensing myself for no bitch don't forget to follow my kick and my ig right now but i love y'all so much y'all stay blessed peace